Hello YouTube, I am the Gaming Pegasus 187 and this is the ninth installment of my Friday Fight Night series. And we are going back to WWE 12, which for some reason I like going back to. And I'm about to prove a point with this one. I think I remember mentioning in one of my earlier videos that Michael Cole is an absolute bitch on this game. And I don't mean bitch by like he's a pain in the ass. No, I mean a bitch because he sucks. So we're doing Jim Ross. I'm playing as Jim Ross. It's going to be a last man standing match. And, and I'm out to prove and show why you would ever want to use Michael Cole. The only thing he's good for is being a punching bag. The following contest is a last man standing match. The only way to win this match is to incapacitate your opponent. I love this. WWE Hall of Famer, good old JR. And literally, Jim Ross got the exact same stat level as Michael Cole, who's at 71. Changed his music to Mrs. Because I have never heard anyone suck as much of the Mrs. Cock as Michael Cole's done. Gosh. I mean, good God, this fucking single is ugly as fuck. Watch this. Watch this. He does a push up. He does one push up. And look, look at me, I can do a push-up! Yeah, you still suck, Cole. Look, he's waving to the entire crowd at point. Like, hey, hello, I'm Michael Cole. I still suck. Look at this. This is from when he was, uh, when Swagger was managing him going into WrestleMania. I think Oregon State's called the WWE and they want new colors after seeing them on this tool. And how that happened, I don't know. Kangas isn't about pinning your opponent or making them submit. In order to win, you must physically destroy him. Come on, JR! <laughs> Yeah, not the best way to start, to be honest. By any means necessary. Use that grapple. Again, don't expect the technically sound competition here. This match will very much be akin to a barroom brawl. And he doesn't want more. Now you've pissed off Jim Ross. Now the reason I can't stay on my call, let's get this out of the way. Is he's annoying. He's the, like, when you out-suck Mike Adamley as far as announcing, yeah, you have to suck really bad to out-suck Mike Adamley, okay? He's checking Look, under the ring. And how that happened. Looking for an object in this no disqualification match. Blocked. Okay, here's the point where I'm pretty much right, going to end up taking over the, the match and start Ross, owning. The Hall of Famer. For what? I'm not really sure. It's not like he won a match at WrestleMania or anything. Sat in my chair for 12 years, allowing viewers to sleep with his slobber knocker. This and government yeah. mule that. Are you kidding me? JR Boom! Is the greatest announcer ever. No, I'm not kidding you. I you think that would easily snap Michael Cole's leg in real life. But anyway, Here, like this. Michael Cole, like is about to you know, to be oh fair, God. he was Cold tolerable. Cold. And that's probably being too nice when he was just being like the face announcer that would always seem to get owned. Or the, the, the kind of guy that just... Like, he's not the guy you would want, you would see being a believable tough guy. But then all of a sudden, after Miz won the WWE title, and you can, there's a match at the point where Michael Cole became complete shit. 
Oh, come on, Kenny. It was right Jerry after was when he helped Miz retain the title Kenny against uh, Jerry Lawler well, in that TLC Kenny. match on Raw last year. And, I mean, and that was the point where Michael Cole, like, to me, went from annoying to unbearable. Because at that point, that's when he started kissing Mrs. Ass. That's when he started standing he up, jumping up and down every time the Miz came out. In fact, I always make the joke that every time Miz is news of kids, Michael's sitting there Michael fucking fapping. So. His brilliant career. Are you really going to give your own bio? Yes, in fact, I am. Give his own bio, bio. God. <laughs> Sometimes the commentary... Oh, yes. When Cole, you do one of these Michael Cole mads, it's hilarious. Later, much like Ernest Hemingway, he became Ernest a Hemingway. Really? You're Ernest Hemingway is rolling Ernest over Hemingway? in his grave after that oh, comment, to be oh. honest. But oh, no. Now, here's the oh, point God. where I pretty I'm much started owning his ass. Yeah. Boom. Fucked him in the back of the head. He's looking to do more damage with that object. And there's another smack. Boom him in the chair. Again, Punch a chair into his face, which you'd never see Jim Ross do. Has begun to take its toll. And I'm just like literally kicking his ass. Jim Ross is just embarrassing himself in there. Really? It looks like he's doing pretty good to me. Well, yeah, right now, but things are going to go pretty bad for him. Okay, here's the point where I win the men up winning the match here. Spoiler alert. And look, this is the last move I do, by the way. Well, look at this. He and this is it. it. He's quickly becoming attached to that chair. Five. I mean, the referee and there, this is it. I mean, I beat his ass. Like, I don't even hit a finisher or anything. Yeah, that's it. Michael Cole's an absolute bitch. I mean, I was originally going to do a series where everybody hates Michael Cole and just have everyone on the roster kick his ass, but I, I thought better of that because then you'd be sad to see this idiot all the time in this stupid singlet. But yeah, you listen to Michael Cole now. He's not really riding Mystic anymore. He's kissing John Moore Nice's ass. Oh my god. I'm gonna save that for another day, but John Lord and I is horrible. Here is your winner. Can't stand him. WWE Hall of Famer. But listen, this is Johnny Ace from here. Hi, I'm John Lord and I, executive vice president of talent relations and general manager of Raw and SmackDown. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, he's boring, he's not exciting, he's. He's horrible. He fucked up about as much as Michael Cole does, to be honest. But we gotta look at that tool every week. And him, like, texting away. Like, whatever. Anyway, that's Friday Fight Night 9. Um, I'll do something different. I'll probably do, like, a triple threat or some multi-man match next week on this. And Pegasus out.